Zikor here and today I'm gonna be uh, making this real quick video uh, on some Morpheus news and whatnot. Yeah, I'm gonna try to make this as quick as possible and I'm gonna upload another video as well later today because this one doesn't have any gameplay obviously but uh, first off I wanted to say thank you guys for 420 subscribers <laughs> I'm gonna make a dank special black tie <laughs> uh, special for a special video for this uh, it's gonna be released as soon as they announce the winners of the Warface Operative Network uh, you might know the reason behind that, but also uh, the g the winner of the giveaway will be announced uh, soon in a separate video, uh, so stay tuned for that. And uh, also, I'm uh, later today I'm gonna upload a weekly highlights video, which I was gonna upload yesterday, but uh, I got some work. I had some work to do. It took. Like, I, had, I was occupied for like four hours straight, so I couldn't really upload anything. But uh, we're going to jump straight into the news here. Uh, so first off, as you can see, Warface has changed the logo and their official font and whatnot. Uh, I don't... It looks pretty cool to me. I think the, the name right there with this uh, font, it looks like it, as if Warface was like these uh, medieval games and... Uh, like that, <laughs> I don't know, that's just my opinion, but it looks pretty cool, it doesn't bother me, they changed their colors as well, it's no more, uh, I think it was orange before, now it's like uh, an or a reddish orange kind of color, but it looks pretty cool. Uh, next up, the auction house has just been updated, now there is a bug on the NA server that doesn't allow you to sell weapons right now, uh, you can check their Facebook pages and uh, their Facebook page and their Twitter to stay updated and see when you can actually when they'll actually fix it but right now you can't sell any updates but what's really important is that they've added a bunch of features so first off there's the search function so you can search any item let's say RBA you see I searched and it shows all the results there's they added a bunch of uh, wait let me go back here they added a bunch of filters so you can sort out by most the ones with the most bets uh, the ones ending the soonest and it updates pretty uh, said it updates by the second but I don't see that here uh, by highest price lowest price so uh, with since they added all these stuff the website that I showed you guys from Christ Stalker right here uh, there isn't much use to it, uh, but unless you want a really clean and simple interface, then you can just do everything over here. Uh, there's no reason to use this website anymore. And it takes a lot of time to load too. So, But now we're going to take a look at this update that was just released today. I know I'm reviewing it here, but I can't. I obviously, it's better here in my opinion because I can just, everything is in the same, everything is here, I won't miss out anything also some stuff I uh, couldn't I can't access in game for reasons that you might know so here it's easier so first off we got the new serious map it's the TDM edition of the domination map I believe now personally I'm not a big fan of these redesigned maps I think it's pretty uh, it's not very creative to, ju to just take a map and change a few bits and parts here and there and make it a map for another game mode I think it's better to just make a whole new map because when a map is shit well <laughs> redesigning it will still uh, give a shit map I'm not saying uh, well I don't really like this map I wouldn't say it's necessarily shit but it's not the best map that's all I'm gonna say so the fact that they made a TDM edition of it uh, I don't really like that. Next up, the added pack marathon, which I know a lot of people would be excited for that because so many people requested on the forums everywhere. So that's gonna that's coming back and uh, and so because they added back marathon, they added back marathon. They removed cyber horse, so you'll need to wait for that to come back if you want to farm weapons or weapon achievements or uh, other achievements or just do it in another mission then we have this new assault rifle now uh, I might 
it's very probable probable that I will make a, a first impressions video on this gun and I rented it for uh, for one day and so far I really really like it so definitely watch out for a video for that which is gonna be released soon then we got this new random box shotgun it's not an update if we don't get a random box weapon of course uh, alongside there's the achievements they also added uh, new helmets uh, I think they're d just different uh, looks for the uh, Earthshaker and uh, different looks for the Earthshaker uh, helmet. So you can't really s exactly say it's pay to win, but it kind of is because they're only available for credits. But you you can get uh, helmets that are pretty much the same thing outside of the the box. So it's not really pay to win, but. Uh, they removed the ATF random box. Who cares? <laughs> Daily Rogan War screen was improved. That was that was a bit bugged. The the visuals weren't really correct, so that's good. Inventory slots with no items available to fill them are now hidden. I don't really know exactly what that means, but I guess it's good because they fixed something. Hex auto revolver reloading animation was improved. Now, if they change the animation, uh. I'm pretty excited because uh, new animations are cool, in my opinion. If they just tweaked it a bit, then whatever. <laughs> Game data loading was improved. Now, they pretty much write this in every damn update. And I haven't really seen anything, uh, much difference. But I haven't, uh, yeah, I haven't seen any difference. But I hope it does change, has changed. Next, player, change the player movement while sprinting to prevent strafe exploding. Um, now, all the ch movement changes that they make are usually pretty scary or they mess up mess up the game a little bit. Like, I'm still not really too fond of the changes to sliding and the slide cancel, but I hope this is actually a good change. I don't know, I haven't really... I played one, one match and I didn't uh, see any difference in the moving, so... Uh, if it the it was a change that actually fixed something without us noticing, then that's pretty good. Next time uh, we have it is no longer possible to join an already running PvP quick play match after a certain time has passed. I'm afraid this is gonna make it more difficult to find rooms because obviously there's not a lot of players on NA, well compared to EU at least, and joining uh, finding matches is already a pain in the ass, especially for like game game modes like free fall. So. If you can join a match that has already started, um, it's gonna be pretty rare to. It's gonna be pretty hard to find games. So I hope the time after which the time limit for joining a game isn't badly chosen, so it won't affect uh, finding matches that much. Next, uh, now this is a really important thing: ping limitation. Players with high ping will be kicked from the game automatically if their ping exceeds a certain number. A certain amount for a specified amount of time. Those values will be different for PvP stricter and PvE more lenient. So before the update actually got released, because now I'm uh, making this video after the update, I was predicting that for NA at least it's not gonna be any different, because uh, pretty much on NA, 80% or so of the players are red bar or from outside NA, so they're not gonna just kick all their players and kill the server like that and it's gonna be a huge loss of money so uh, I'm pretty positive that they're not gonna uh, really adjust the adjust this setting too much for NA because it's, it will mean a loss of player and profit but I hope they do because I'm kinda tired of getting shot and killed behind walls but at the same time I don't want them to do it because there won't be anyone to play with because there's no one on NA there aren't a lot of players from actual North America in NA uh, so I don't know and it has actually turned out that yes it has not changed shit on NA uh, pretty much everyone still plays the game they said that in the, on the forums that it has kicked a few players and they're gonna tweak it but uh, we'll just have to wait and see so Next we had the achievements for all these boring, and then we got some other uh, stuff. Uh, what's interesting here? Personalized shop offers were introduced. This sounds interesting, so I don't, but I don't know what it means. So that'll be cool to see if it how it is. 
Um, reconnecting to PV ra PvP rank games after losing connection or cri client crash will now be possible. That's a pretty cool feature because this game has a lot of problems like that, crashing and losing connections, so that will be really, really good. <laughs> Uh, and then we got some bug faces, so nothing else. Oh, look at this guy, the sexy user here, right here. Um, but yeah, that's been it, guys. I think this has been <laughs> way too long. But if you guys want to see uh, other videos like this as well, uh, Warface News, if you want me to talk about the updates every time they get released, make sure you leave a comment down below because I don't know if you guys only want gameplays and uh, commentaries and stuff like that, or you also want. Uh, videos like uh, nudes and <laughs> news on regarding Warface. So also, by the way, uh, I found it, I didn't find it, but there's a code that I saw other people posting, and it gives you one day of Mega VIP and four thousand Warface stars. So that's pretty cool. I'll leave it in the description. Make sure you guys uh, use that before it expires or hits the user limit. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.